Hello, this is our Open Source channel here. Welcome again to a new episode on Hatsune. Don't forget to subscribe. You can like or like the videos. The more likes I get, the more videos I can do. Don't forget, you can uh, follow me on the social media. You can find me on Twitter. And of course, you can find me on Facebook too. Yeah, I wanted to reach the 2000 by the end of the, the month, but as you can see, yeah, it doesn't look like it. Anyway, again, here is the Facebook page. I'm now playing with the Elgato Game Capture HD60. There we go. Uh, how we only got 10 likes at the moment. Hopefully, we'll uh, come up. This is the, uh, well, <laughs> I haven't finished yet website it's not going to be like a blog so i don't know yet exactly what i'm going to do and how i'm going to do it but i know i'm going to use brackets.io this is a open source text editor for uh, developers and today i'm going to show you how i install it and which extensions i am going to uh, upload to the actual program i should say install actually rather than uh, Upload. There we go. I'm going to save the file, and I'm going to click on Show All Downloads, and I'm going to double click it. No, actually, I can't double click on here. And <laughs> let me open the folder. There we go. Now that I click on the X, double click, and I will start the installation. There we go, uh, Brackets has been uh, successfully installed. And I'm going to press finish. Minimize. And I'm going to find the actual program now. And I'm going to, there we go, I'm going to right click and see if I can now. Uh, Add to my pin there. I'm going to print the toolbar now. There we go. Now I'm going to click it. Now it's going to start the program. There we go. I'm going to maximize now the program. There we go. I'm going to give uh, access for the firewall. Let me close this one first. Allow access. Well, let me take this out of the way. There we go. Now we got the coding part of it. Here we got previews. Here you can actually import a PSD. If you want to convert PSD to HTML, again, it would not convert. You know, it will help you to get information. And also you need the Adobe ID to get this feature working. If you don't find it in the installed plugins, uh, later on I'm going to show you where it is. Here, as you can see, you can find all the measurements, positions, and it can actually help you to, you know, to code. Let me close this one up here, and here we go. This is the uh, plugin section where you can install plugins. There's loads of them. I'm going to show you how to install some of them. Also, later on, I'm going to show you where I get all the information. There is also a page that you can go and it's going to tell you the most used plugins. There we go here, these themes, and it is told. Here is the one that you just see the brackets previews. And that is the one who actually preview the actual code and the PSD. Right, so let me see if I can 
uh, install some available plugins oops I don't know why it does that when I start to uh, search for any keyword it will automatically shut on me I don't know it might be a problem with it uh, I found this a couple of times it does take a little bit of time here we go I'll just write color here and oops again <laughs> Yeah, it's totally gone. And well, let's start again. Sorry about that, this guys. It does take a little bit of time, I to be honest, to load, you know, to load all the plugins. There we go. Let's say the color palette I want to choose. As I'm going to use this program later on. Hmm, looks like I can't find it. Let me write palette. That's it. That's brackets called palette. And I'm going to install it. And as you can see, just press install and uh, this station has been successfully installed. Press close to close it. If I go back again there, and I go back to installed, Although you don't have to close it, you can just go direct to installed. I don't know why I closed it, but as you can see, that has been, uh, yeah, the one on the top has been installed. Now we'll go back to the um, available. Try to search for another one. What can I do? Right, let me right here. At least one, you can actually have icons on the side of each file, and it looks like I, I cannot find it. I think this is one here actually, brackets for icon. Where is one on the top? All right, I'm going to install this one here and uh, see how it goes. Okay, that's been done. I'm going to press close. As you can see, now I go back, and then there we go. As you can see there some icons before the actual text you know the actual file right so i'm going to press close you can have a quick edit it's quite good and quite you know uh nice uh to be honest with you nice piece of text editor to work with and it's also easy to use We're back to the plugins now, see if I can install something else before I'm going to show you on the web which page to go and uh, where to find all the information about the plugins. There we go. To do, I'm going to do the install this program, so this plugin, and these are to do as you can see on the, here on the right where you can actually click. Here you can actually type text things that you want you know, items you wanna you need to do you know just in case you forget you can also have the preview on and off uh, the actual error launcher because I haven't set up yet the the default um, browser here you get the sorted and you can have a multiple split there's no split that's a vertical split you can have a uh, one on the right as you can see and you can also have the horizontal this is going back let me put the horizontal here yeah and as you can see it's on the bottom and you can also both ways anyway even if it's a vertical you can resize it i'm going back to the no split you can also um well, you can start the project there, but you can also get the plugins through the file on settings. There's also an option to get the uh, plugins on. Below here, you can choose which language. Uh, this moment is on HTML. You can find SQL, you can find PHP, C, C, and so on. That's PHP there. 
as I said, it's quite easy to use and quite intuitive. So, yeah, you can actually resize and everything. Anyway, and there we go. Let's go to the bracket, uh, sorry, brackets.io website and let's have a look at the popular extension as I was uh, telling you earlier on. One of the good one is Emmet as well. High speed HTML and CSS workflow. Auto prefixer, beautify. And uh, going back to the uh, program there, I'm going to, of course, here you can, I, I was telling you before, extension manager from the file tab menu. Now we're going to paste Emmet. And I'm going to install it. There we go. It's automatically installing. And that set has been successfully installed. We got also Beautify. Let's install this one here. And I'm going to do one on the top. And as you can see, it's so easy. You know, it doesn't need any explanation. And there we go, uh, without any delay. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Like and unlike my pages if you want, it doesn't matter, as long as you do something. So the more likes, the more videos I can do. Don't forget about it. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Here are a little selection of my latest videos, and of course it's a subscribe button too. And I'll see you next time.